Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I have a big haul for you. We have some new food finds, some really good deals. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a grocery haul every Saturday and I actually upload five videos every single week. Check out the description box down below where you will find nutrition coaching. Highly, highly recommend personalized macros and calories. Calories. This is how I have lost and maintained a 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite things and my Facebook group are all down in that description box. We would love to have you join. I just got home from the grocery store, just brought all of the groceries in. And before we jump into the grocery haul, I'm going to make myself a protein coffee. Now I shared this in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day, but I've added another something super special to my protein coffee and it has officially become my new, new favorite. This protein coffee is 35 grams of protein, four points on WW and right around 200 calories. It is such a great way to get in coffee your coffee as well as a big boost of protein. And I've been adding in this. Now I shared this with you guys quite a while ago in a what I eat in a day. This is from the brand Earth Echo and this is the Cacao Bliss Powder. I actually finished that entire bag. This is a brand new bag that I just opened up today. I have been loving this. I've been baking with this. I've been putting this in my yogurt and I've been loving it in my protein coffee. It's a great way to add a little extra bit of chocolate boost and all of the health benefits in Cacao Bliss. So this again is from Earth Echo Foods, and this is the Cacao Bliss Powder. This is truly healthy chocolate. It helps activate your metabolism to burn stubborn fat, crush your cravings for sweets, maintain a healthy immune system function. It helps fight temporary inflammation related to exercise. This is one of the things I've really benefited from the Cacao Bliss. It supports a positive mood, improved digestion. It's keto and vegan friendly, and it includes 10 powerful superfoods, including including raw cacao, turmeric, cinnamon, MCT powder, black pepper, monk fruit, coconut nectar, leucama, mesquite, and Himalayan salt, all packed into one really healthy, tasty cacao powder. I have baked with it. I actually made these pumpkin ch chai bliss blondies. These were absolutely incredible. You can have a sweet treat in a really healthy way using the Earth Echo Cacao Bliss. So here is my 36 gram protein, protein coffee packed with antioxidants, superfoods. It is so good. Absolutely delicious. I will link the Cacao Bliss down below with a special discount for you. I'll have everything else I use in my coffee as well for you. And I'll even put the recipe on how I put this coffee together. So if you want to pick up the products and reference the recipe, it'll be in the description box. 10 out of 10 out of 10. So here is my grocery haul for the week. I had quite a big haul. I did go ahead and shop at my Fry store, which is a Kroger store. I got some new food finds and some really good deals. So let me show you what I picked up. So the first thing is some natural creamy peanut butter. I needed a peanut butter for a recipe that was just the peanuts and salt. And that is exactly what is in this one. So I picked that up for a recipe and also we'll use it as, we'll use it for snacks and toast as well. I'm going to be making a Troy's pot pasta salad. If you're curious what that recipe is, it is on my recipe website under Troy's pasta salad. It is not WW friendly. It's not low calorie. It's a macaroni salad, but he asked for it this week. And part of that recipe are olives. I decided to buy whole olives and chop them up myself because they're half the price of the already sliced ones. I needed some orange juice for a meal prep recipe, actually for my lunch meal prep. I needed cubed or diced ham for Troy's pasta salad. Usually I buy diced, but they were out. So I went ahead and picked up cubed. I did stop by the, the meat section and found a couple really good deals on reduced meat. So this is a pound of the organic, which is great. Simple Truth Organic, 93.7 ground turkey, $3.82. And then I got the 99% for $4.75. So almost a dollar more. And it's not even organic. It's because it's a leaner cut of turkey. So crazy how those prices shift. I did go ahead and pick up some more Simply Potatoes. This is my jam. I love it for breakfast. I make this really, really good breakfast bowl. I've actually shared it in several what I eat in a day videos. Love it. It's very filling, full of protein, and I needed hash browns for that. I needed broccoli for a recipe, so I went ahead and just picked up frozen broccoli. It's so much easier. And then I have a really fun recipe that I want to share with you guys in this next week's what I eat in a day, what goes out on Monday. 
and it's this pepperoni pizza stuffed mini pepper recipe that I saw. I'm really excited about it. And you actually need pepperoni minis for that, so I picked that up. And then I needed beef broth for a recipe, and I actually had a coupon that if I bought two, I got a discount, so I went ahead and picked two of the Simple Truth Organic beef stock. I got these little mini caramel rice cakes. I eat rice cakes a lot pre and post workout or as part of a snack. It's a good fast acting carbohydrate. And I got something over in the deli section I'll show you for these little mini rice cakes. And then also I love, love, love to dip these in peanut butter. And then this, this big block of mild cheddar cheese is for Troy's pasta salad. I use Chop this up into little teeny cubes and it goes into the salad. He also asked for some Triscuits so that he can have meat, cheese, and crackers this week. And then I stopped by the reduced bakery section and I saw this little half raspberry white chocolate bun cake. It was only $3. So I picked that up for a sweet treat. And then over in the regular bakery section, I found these sugar cookies. They're just little frosted sugar cookies. Those are Troy's favorite. She loves a good sugar cookie, so I picked those up. And then also in the reduced bakery section, I got these little rolls. It was my boot camp girls night yesterday, and I made <clears throat> and I made little Hawaiian slider sandwiches, put them in the oven, really, really delicious. So I got these little rolls for that. Picked up some more just plain Fairlife milk for myself, and then a couple of gallons of skim milk for Troy. And then I have heard all about these on TikTok. I've seen them on YouTube. I've seen them on Instagram. These are the new goldfish crisps. So these are supposed to be, I guess, puffed goldfish, kind of like the Cheez-It crispy ones, the really puffed Cheez-Its. So we're going to try these. We'll try these out in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. They had cheddar, sour, sour cream and salt and vinegar. I went ahead and got the sour cream and onion. You get 44 of them for 140 calories. So that's not a bad deal at all. So again, stay tuned for Wednesdays. What I eat in a day, we will try these out. I got two of my all time favorite cottage cheese, good culture. I've been making different recipes using cottage cheese. Plus I just love it as a high protein snack. So I picked up two. And then I got this little classic mix M&Ms sharing size. It has regular M&Ms, peanut butter and peanut. I just wanted some kind of sweet treat, some kind of candy, and this sounded really good. I usually only have a couple and it just satisfies my sweet tooth. They were on sale, so I picked those up. And then I need cheese tortellini for a dinner recipe. You'll actually see that recipe in Wednesday's video. I couldn't find any good, affordable, refrigerated cheese tortellini, so I went ahead and picked up the frozen. And then for Troy's meat, cheese, and crackers, I picked up two options. So I got some little hard, Italian salami already cut up into rounds. And then I got him a Hillshire Farm beef summer sausage as well. That way he has a couple of options for meat, for his meat, cheese, and crackers. He also asked for soup. So they had a deal if you bought four cans, they were only $1.99 a can, and then you got an extra $2 off. So they ended up being about $1.49 a can, the Progresso brand. So I got the beef and vegetable, the beef pot roast and vegetable, and then two tomato. He loves tomato soup and grilled cheese. And then this is what I found over in the deli section to pair with my little rice cakes. This is dark chocolate hummus. This was on sale for $1.62. I have tried the chocolate hummus from Trader Joe's and loved it. And I thought, how good would these two be paired together for a dessert or a snack? Troy also asked for Hidden Valley Ranch. I have the Marzetti Light Ranch or Simply Ranch. He wanted just full-blown ranch, so I picked that up for him. Him. We have been eating a lot of salads lately. And then I have quite a bit of cheese. I got some Havarti cheese. This is for the sliders for my boot camp girls night. I got some mozzarella cheese or pizzeria style cheese with mozzarella and smoked provolone. This is for those little pepperoni pizza peppers. And then we were all out of shredded cheese. So I went ahead and picked up the chef's blend, which is sharp cheddar, Gouda and Asiago. I really like this thick cut shredded cheese. It's my favorite. And then Troy's pasta salad uses elbow macaroni. So I picked up a box and then I needed some other canned goods for recipes. I actually needed a can of tomato sauce and then a large can of diced tomatoes. I did have a coupon if I bought three small cans from the Simple Truth Organic brand. So I just went ahead and got two small cans to equal one big can. And I ended up saving a little bit of money that way. I also asked for a restock on cereal. So he wanted the fiber one with honey. And then I did get him two boxes of the Kashi Go toasted berry. Yeah, toasted berry crisp. These are just tiny boxes, although they're $5 a piece. They're tiny boxes. So I picked him up 
too. I did get this Caesar salad kit. It actually already has the chicken in it. I'm going to have this for lunch today. You know what's interesting though? It only has nine grams of protein. So I'm not sure if that's per serving. I think what I'm going to do is have all the chicken on my salad and hopefully at least double that. But it comes with the dressing, the cheese, the lettuce, everything. And it was on sale for $2.70. I did get the little mini sweet peppers. These are for that pepperoni pizza pepper recipe. Again, you'll see that in Wednesdays, what I eat in a day. They had their little packs of blackberries for 99 cents. That's a killer deal. So I picked up two and then they had their blueberries on sale, the big container for $2.88. And I need a berry for my meal prep. I was gonna do raspberries, but since these were on sale, we're gonna now do blueberry. You'll see all of my dinner plans and what's in Monday's meal prep right after the grocery haul. So I picked up some blueberries. Also some bananas for a recipe and for snacking. I needed an orange for my lunch meal prep, a yellow onion for a dinner recipe, and then I needed green onions and radishes for Troy's pasta salad. And then I did grab a couple of these little snack trays. They have broccoli, carrot, celery, and ranch. They were $1.21. So we will definitely eat those up. You know Troy loves his veggies and dips, so I'm sure these will be gone within a day or so. And then I also picked up three 12 packs of Diet Coke for Troy. So that is everything in this week's grocery haul. Let's jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. Here is what is on my menu for the week. My girls night was actually last night, so tonight we're just going to have leftovers. Tomorrow I'm going to make tacos. And then Monday I'm making a meatball soup with cheese tortellini. You will actually see that recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a day. Tuesday's leftovers. Wednesday, we're going to do a salad night. And then Thursday and Friday, we'll do leftovers as well. Here is what you'll be seeing in Monday's meal prep. So for breakfast this week, I'm going to be making banana protein muffins. I'm actually really excited for this. For lunch, we're going to do an orange chicken style meal prep. And then for a snack or dessert, I was going to do raspberry oat bars. Now I'm going to do blueberry oat bars since blueberries were such a good price this week. So stay tuned for all three recipes on Monday. Do you want to say goodbye to everyone? Say thank you for watching the grocery haul. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up for the week. Like I said, we have some new food finds, some really, really good deals, and I am set up for success. So if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on, and don't forget to stop by the description box before you go for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and of course, come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Saturday, friends, and I will see you in tomorrow's video. You're not going to want to miss it. It's it's all about my cut. See you tomorrow. Bye.